Hello, and welcome to The Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to begin looking at the life cycle of a star. Um, that we're going to look at the first two phases. Uh, every star starts out as a cloud of dust and gas, a nebula. As you can see here, uh, the gas emits colors and often looks very beautiful, so it's something you've probably seen before on TV or in a movie. This cloud of dust and gas, all the pieces of dust and gas are attracted by gravity, and so they all begin to clump together because every two pieces of mass in the universe is attracted by gravity. So slowly over the course of millions of years, these uh, get closer and closer and closer together, gravity being the only force on them at this point in time. So they uh, slowly uh, come together. Now as any gas uh, co compacts, comes together, uh, it uh, gains uh, energy, thermal energy. Uh, it had potential energy. That potential energy that compacts turns into thermal energy. And so the, the gas begins to heat up and we get what are called protostars, um, which are stars, uh, which is gas that's kind of compact enough that it's hot enough that it's glowing, uh, but yet it's not really the, a star yet as good because a star happens when we have nuclear fusion. Um, nuclear fusion in the core of an initial star will be four hydrogen atoms fusing together to give you a helium atom. Uh, in that process, mass is lost, and by Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, uh, mass is converted into energy, and so in the core of that star you get fusion, uh, which is going to generate more energy. And we'll see in more detail in the next video on the main sequence of a star.